Hi there. In this short video, I will tell you how, how you can use date command to convert timestamps from number of seconds since epoch to human readable format. Many tools and utilities that you might encounter on Linux or in many Unixes in general might express time as number of seconds since epoch. While that's good from programming perspective, it may not be very, very human readable because uh, as a human being, you don't know what date it actually corresponds to. So if you want to convert it to a format that's more human readable, this is how you do it using date command. You can simply use date and you can just use minus minus date. I'm using the GNU code utils version of date. So the syntax is likewise there. Use minus minus option here. You say date minus minus date is equal to just use at the rate. Let's say I want to find out what date was it after 1 billion seconds since epoch. I would say 1 followed by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. It's 1 billion, I hope. And it is on. It falls on this particular date in human readable format. It's in 20, 2001 and it's September 19th, Sunday. And it's at 7, 16, 40. Yeah, right. So if you want to find out when does epoch time start in Unix? I guess, you know, Unix epoch starts at Jan 1st, 1970, 5.30 a.m. This is a confirmation to show you that. You say at zero, this is your start epoch. Another use case is, let's say, I want to find out um, when did my system boot? It's a realistic use case. Information about the boot time on a system, I can locate in a sproc file system called slash proc slash stat. This particular file exposes the system boot time again expressed using epoch. Remember, this file is a pseudo file system. This file falls in pseudo file system called slash proc. This file doesn't really exist. The kernel is exposing data structures and features within itself as files and folders in here. So when you see this, B time is nothing but boot time expressed as time since epoch. I want to extract this number and I want to find out when did it boot. Maybe the scripted way to do that is maybe if I want to use simple grep and cut kind of an option, I can use grep and uh, B time uh, from slash proc slash stat. This extracts a line, feed it to cut, minus field two. Field number two, minus delimited space. I got this number. Now all I need to do is just uh, use date. Minus minus date is equal to at the rate dollar open parenthesis close parenthesis and I can really find out when I booted my system. My system was booted just at this particular timestamp and the current time is this which you can see here. Right. So in fact uh, if you know about uptime command you can actually do the same thing. If you use uptime, it'll tell you my system uptime is being up for one hour, 57 minutes for now. And uh, you can also use uptime minus a switch to achieve the same thing, which I did using this command. Of course, in many, many places, maybe if you're not have, you don't have this uptime command installed or uptime minus S doesn't work. But if you're on a Linux system, at least you should be able to get this particular entry, extract the field and maybe use date command to convert it to this particular format. So if you find epoch times in many files and different other output sources, output streams, you can always extract them and use date minus minus date is equal to at seconds. We'll convert it to the human readable timestamp. Hope you found this video useful. So if you do find this video useful, please do comment so I can make more videos like this. Thank you very much. Hope to meet you in future videos.